Editing genes is simple. It's like cutting and pasting DNA with special scissors, similar to how you would do with text in a Word document. Visualizing this process of gene editing can be difficult. Let's take a closer look at the steps involved in this process. The first thing we need is to collect some cells to edit. Here, we take blood cells. We do this by taking blood from a healthy donor and sorting cells known as white blood cells. Next, we need to decide which portion of the DNA sequence we need to get the desired edits. Once we know where to edit the DNA, we need molecular scissors to recognize and cut our chosen sequence. These scissors are known as talon, which cannot be added directly to our cells. Instead, we use something similar to DNA, called RNA, to give the cells the instructions they need to produce the talon. Finally, we need a device that will bring these ingredients together. The machine we use for this is an electroborator called Pulse Agile. Here, we have everything in order to carry out gene editing. Here, we have our 1 billion of T-cells, and within those T-cells, we have the DNA sequence that we want to edit. We have our 1 milligram of RNA, which is needed to produce the talon. And uh, here, finally, we have the electroporator, where we are going to combine our ingredients in order to perform gene editing. So now we can start the process. The RNAs are mixed with the cells in the chamber, and thanks to electrical pulses given by our machine, enter the cells. In the cell, the RNA instructions are used to produce the talon, which scan through the DNA, looking for the specified DNA sequence. Once the sequence is found, the talon make a precise cut, and this is where the edit will be made. There are two ways in which genes can be edited, either by knocking out or knocking in. For a knockout, part of the gene is disrupted, resulting in a loss of its function. Whilst a knock-in involves insertion, whereby a sequence of an external DNA matrix sharing homologies with the broken DNA will be copied in at the cut site. The changes we make to the DNA can have different effects. Here, the T-cell receptors have been disrupted to make the T-cells blind and the car has been inserted to target and eradicate cancer cells. Here we have our pool of engineered T-cells. We will filter it in order to make sure that our final product contains only edited T-cells to treat patients. Our gene-edited T-cells are then prepared in hundreds of vials that are ready to be shipped and used as off-the-shelf treatments.